Hello, and welcome to this one signal guide for browser behavior and web push descriptions. In this video, we're going to cover how to reset notification permissions, browser behavior when resetting permissions, browser behavior when you're clearing your cache, and how to test your site as a new subscriber. Resetting your notification permissions is slightly different for each browser, but for most of them, you'll need to go into your browser's settings to do this. As an example, let's look at how we'll do this in Google Chrome. For Google Chrome, First, start by clicking the three buttons in the top right hand corner and selecting settings from the menu. Then click privacy and security on the left hand side, site settings, and then go to notifications. Then find the site that you'd like to reset notification permissions for, click the three dots and select remove. Going back to the site, we can then see that the notification permissions have been reset. Alternatively, Click the icon to the left of the URL, go to the notifications section and click reset permissions to reset the notification permissions for this site. As mentioned before, this process is slightly different for each browser, but it is also relatively similar in each case. In OneSignal, each subscription has a unique ID. Resetting your notification preferences does not reset this ID as the ID is stored in local storage. Let's look at the subscription ID for this device. Now, when we reset the notification permissions, we can see that the subscription ID remains the same for this user, even after resubscribing. As a subscription ID is stored in local storage under the index DB, if you clear your cache, the subscription ID will be reset. You can check the ID for the current subscription by opening the dev console and typing in onesignal.user.pushsubscription.id. Next, let's clear the site data or clear the cache and see what happens to that subscription ID. When we clear the site data and refresh the page, we can see the user is still subscribed, which is because their notification permissions haven't changed. However, if we do the same console command, we'll see that the subscription ID has changed. This creates a new subscription, but does not immediately invalidate the old one. The old subscription ID will become unsubscribed after attempting to send messages to it. If you want to test the subscription process for your site, you'll need to both reset your notification permissions and clear your cache. This is because, as we said before, resetting the cache won't remove your notification permissions and just removing notifications permissions won't remove your subscription ID. Instead, we need to reset the permissions and clear the cache at the same time. Once we do this, when we arrive back at the site, we'll be prompted to subscribe and we'll be starting with a totally new subscription ID. In this way, you can simulate the exact experience of a user coming to your site for the first time. For more information on managing web push subscriptions, subscriptions in general, or web push permission prompts, scan the QR codes on the screen now or visit documentation.onesignal.com.